Hey everyone, today we're doing the oil change on my 2020 KTM 390 Adventure. Um, this process should be pretty much the same for 2020 through 2023 and I think even 2024 they're all the same. So we're going to get started here by uh, pulling out the skid plate or motor guard, whatever you want to call it. There's nine different uh, nine different bolts to deal with. Um, they're all a number four Allen, so we'll start by getting the ones done on this side of the bike here. I'm missing one there, but there's supposed to be one there as well. All right, I got seven from the other side. Um, the side without the kickstand, it's easier to get to the ones underneath from that side, so that's why I do seven. Actually, one of mine was missing and one had a stripped head, so it was a little harder to get it out. Um, this is my first time doing the change, so. Anyway, there's only two more left on this side. Well, you'll see a couple extras, but you don't need to pull them out. It's just this one up here. And this one down here, right by the kickstand. Now we've got the mount down. Um, just one thing to note, there's these little spacers in each one of the holes there. You can see one of mine popped out. Just make sure you don't lose those. You just insert into the hole like that. Um, now we're on to pulling the bracket for the skid plate off. There's three bolts on either side. These ones are a number five Allen. So starting from the side we just finished off on, there's one right back in there. You can see it, get the gun on it right by the exhaust. That one. There's a washer on each of them too, so make sure you don't lose them. Now, next one is underneath the motor, right in there. And our last one's right at the back, right at the back part of the flat part of the exhaust there. I'm moving back to the other side, basically in the exact same spots, just on the other side of the engine. So got one right up here. Before I proceed to drain the oil, I'm gonna actually start the bike and let it get up to operating temperature. It's been sitting for a few weeks, so uh, I just wanna get that oil nice and hot before it gets drained out. Put their engine nice and warm now. We can drain the oil, it's all gonna come out nice and well. Um, there's actually two different plugs here and behind each plug, there's an oil screen and an O-ring that you need to pull out as well and clean. So our first plug that we're gonna pull out is right here. Um, it is a 18 millimeter. And then our next one, which is a little bit more difficult to get to, is right under there, that plug right there near the exhaust. Um, be careful with that one because it's, uh, you can easily hit your hand against the now hot exhaust. So that one's a 13. I've just got on a little extension here, which I'm gonna hold there and then use my ratchet to pull it off. So let's get those off. Not the greatest design with the oil you know, going all over the exhaust, but it is what it is. Put the screen in there to pull out. We'll make sure we got the O-ring in a minute. Set this over here. While that's straining, let's get over here and get our other one right down in there. screen in there too. Don't lose that o-ring. Now that we've got our drain plugs and our screens all cleaned up and we've verified the o-rings are all there, uh, we're gonna get them back onto the bike. Make sure that clicks in.
All right, with all that done, we've now moved to the other side of the engine, the side without the kickstand. This is where our oil, oil filter housing is. Um, by the way, with both those drain plugs, the bigger one has a torque spec of 11.1 foot pound, and the smaller one has a torque spec of 8.9 foot pound. But with stuff that low, I usually just kind of do it by feel with a ratchet. So let me get these off. These are an eight millimeter. All right, now that we've got most of the oil cleaned up out of there with a rag and our mating surface clean and our cap pretty clean with a little bit of residue left on the O-ring, I'm gonna take my new filter and just put it in this way. The seal goes inwards and it should click on just like that. Um, and this will go back on with those eight mil bolts. Um, by the way, I got this oil filter along with the oil, the exact amount you need, 1.7 liters. I got it in an oil change kit straight from a KTM dealer. It ended up being about $61 Canadian. So it's, uh, it's not too bad. And again with this, it does have a torque spec. It is 7.4 foot pound, but again, with small stuff like this, I'm just doing it by feel, making sure not to over tighten it. Just grabbing up on the ratchet and there we go. It's pretty tight now. Now it's time we fill up the oil. Our drain plug is just right here, right above where the filter was. Just pull this out. Down. And I'm going to use all the oil I got. So in the kit, I got two of these. One has one liter, as you can see. The other one has 0.7 for a total of 1.7, which is what this calls for. Put a filter in there. Get this going. All right, now that the oil is full, uh, just before I reinstall our skid plate and everything, I'm just gonna start it up, make sure everything's good. On. Give it a minute, make sure no leaks are happening. After letting it run for a minute, I'm just gonna quickly check the oil level. Just down here, that little slate glass right there, you see there's two different lines. Uh, the oil level just has to be in between it when the bike is standing straight up. So since it's on the kickstand, I'm just gonna lean it straight a bit, get it kind of close here, and let the oil travel. And yeah, we're looking pretty good. Might be kind of hard to see on the camera there, but my oil level did come through. It takes a second, but it is there and it's between the two lines. So we are good to go. Lift that up. Last thing we do need to do actually, other than putting on the skid plate is we need to reset our service interval, um, which I'll show you how to do that here now. So you just wanna, on the screen, wanna click the set button on our handlebar. I'm um, sorry, I'm gonna click that a couple times to get rid of the messages. There we go. Now we're gonna go down to settings. And then on here, we're gonna hold up and down at the same time. So when I do that, You'll see a change there, and now it says next service. Uh, mine says zero kilometers. Now you just wanna go up and, and set it to what you want it to. So the oil change interval is 7,500 kilometers. So I'm gonna click the up arrow. Sorry, I'm gonna keep clicking set um, to keep increasing this. I think it goes up by 500 kilometer intervals or 300 mile intervals if you have it set to miles. And I'm gonna go up to 7,500. to 7500 there now and then i'm going to hold set and there we go now the surface interval has been reset turn the bike back off and we'll go back to putting the skip plate back on now we're just doing everything in reverse order here Skid plate, one thing to note on the screws, there are four of them that are longer. Um, the four longer ones just go through the holes on here that have the bushings in them. So you'll see this one's got a bushing, that one, that one, and then this one up here. The other ones just have this 
uh, metal bushing. These ones have this rubber one as well. And that's it. The oil is freshly changed and she's ready for another ride. Thanks for watching everyone. See you later.